The upcoming Jujutsu Kaisen Chapter 267 is highly anticipated by fans as it will continue the intense battle between Yuji and Sukuna. Yuji has significantly grown in power and experience throughout the arc and is now poised to inflict serious damage on Sukuna. With Megumi's return to the fight and the mysterious Sukuna finger, Chapter 267 is expected to be a major turning point in the series. In the latest chapter of Jujutsu Kaisen, fans are introduced to a mysterious finger tied up inside a temple, sparking a lot of speculation. This finger could belong either to Yuji or to Sukuna. There are two possible explanations for this. One possibility is that Yuji cut off his own finger and turned it into a cursed object. His exact plan is unclear, but it might involve using these fingers to trap Sukuna, effectively turning him back into a cursed object and sealing him away, though not eliminating him entirely. Another theory is related to the fact that Yuji had two of his fingers cut off in a previous chapter. While it's not clear how this happened, it's likely connected to Sukuna's powers. Fans only saw one finger tied up in the temple despite Yuji losing two. This suggests that Yuji might have fed his fingers to Rika, possibly giving her access to Sukuna's techniques. Meanwhile, Sukuna's finger is kept in the shrine, which Yuji might be planning to use to capture Sukuna. There's also a puzzling idea that Yuta Okatsu might somehow possess Sukuna's malevolent shrine technique instead of Yuji. However, this is yet to be explained, and fans are eagerly waiting for the next chapter for answers. Since this chapter marks the climax of the series, big revelations and developments are expected, particularly in the ongoing battle between Yuji and Sukuna. The upcoming chapter is also expected to show Megumi Fushiguro continuing to fight against Sukuna. Thanks to a powerful soul dismantle technique from Yuji, Megumi has awakened and started fighting back. He has already used his 10 shadows technique to disrupt Sukuna and allow Yuji to land a powerful blow. For Megumi to effectively fight Sukuna, Yuji needs to weaken Sukuna's control over Megumi's body further. If Yuji can weaken Sukuna in the next chapter, Megumi will gain more freedom to fight, making it increasingly difficult for Sukuna to maintain control and possibly leading to his defeat. Megumi is expected to play a significant role in the series going forward, but the main focus will be on Yuji, who is determined to save Megumi. Megumi will likely assist Yuji in minor ways, but the main responsibility falls on Yuji. Fans are still waiting to see Yuji's sure hit attack, which remains a mystery. Based on the hints so far, it could be a powerful soul dismantle that might free Megumi from Sukuna's control. If this happens, it would be a major moment in the series, exciting fans who have been eagerly anticipating such a development. The editors of Jujutsu Kaisen have promoted this chapter as the climax of the series, suggesting that the battle between Yuji and Sukuna is reaching its peak and might soon conclude. If this is true, the domain battle could mark the end of Sukuna, with Yuji potentially landing a decisive blow that would severely injure Sukuna and weaken his control over Megumi. This could lead to Yuji freeing Megumi, possibly tying into the mysterious finger that Yuji has sealed somewhere. However, fans should also consider the possibility that if this truly is the climax, the long foreshadowed merger might soon begin. Kenjaku, another major antagonist, gave Sukuna the key to trigger the merger, and if Sukuna feels he is losing, he might initiate this final battle, setting the stage for the series ultimate showdown.